This is my version of Mongolian beef. And I make mine with tons of shishito peppers, lots of ginger, uh, big green onions or leeks, a lot of garlic. I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce really quickly. And I serve it up with jasmine rice. Jasmine rice is uh, one and a half cups of water to one cup of jasmine rice. You combine them together, bring them to a boil, and it cooks in about 15 minutes. I add a little pinch of salt to the waters. It's coming to a boil as well. For the stir fry, I'm using just a big old cast iron skillet. And we're going to get the beef nice and crispy by tossing it in, in a light dusting of a little cornstarch. For the meat, I get little six ounce portions of thin cut sirloin, nice and lean. Flank steak is awesome for this dish. So we thinly slice this. And then we're going to season the meat with a little salt and pepper or Szechuan pepper. So a little salt, Szechuan pepper will be coming. Now for the sauce, I just whisk it up in a bowl and I pour it down over the whole dish when we're done. Thank you, sweetheart. Sure. A little Szechuan pepper, black pepper, your choice. The sauce, I put a little bit of water in a bowl, like a quarter of a cup, just to thin out the hoisin. Then I add about a quarter cup of hoisin. I have a Chinese barbecue vibe going on there. Uh, smoked soy sauce or soy sauce or soy sauce substitute. This is smoked shoyu. A uh, little Worcestershire sauce, a couple of glugs. Sweeten it up with a little light brown sugar, about two tablespoons, and a little sesame oil. Whisk this up. So here's our Mongolian sauce, ready and waiting for us. I'm gonna dredge the meat very lightly in a little bit of cornstarch. For two pounds of meat, I use maybe three, four tablespoons of cornstarch total. Shake off the excess and brown the meat in two batches. When we come back, we're going to add the shishito peppers and talk about those, ginger, garlic, and tons of green onion. I'll meet you right back here in a couple. spring onions I'm running my knife through here you can use leeks or a couple of fat bunches of scallions for our Mongolian beef I'm taking our last batch of uh, cornstarch dusted beef with Szechuan pepper out of our giant cast iron skillet and now the fun part we're gonna add a whole bunch a couple of boxes or buy about a pound of shishito peppers What's fun about shishito peppers and padron peppers as well is one in 10 of them are spicy, but you never know which ones. <laughs> <laughs> to that, I'm gonna throw in uh, fat match sticks of lots of ginger. This, we're going to just blister and combine. And then we're going to throw in all of our coarsely chopped coarsely chopped on the bias, um, green onion, or leeks, or scallions. Pretty easy going with the onion action. And then lots of garlic. I'm gonna toss these guys around, and you see how they're getting blistered like that? That's what you're looking for there. All right, so we're gonna put our crispy beef back in. Look at that, huh? And our sauce, our Mongolian sauce. Woo, we're gonna take a quick break, come on back. So, you're not getting this from a takeout. Um, we sauteed, uh, high temp cooked actually, stir fried. Tons of shishito, a whole big bunch of big fat spring onions, tons of ginger root, fresh garlic, crispy beef with the Sichuan pepper, added the sauce and it glazes it. Look at that, look at the color of that. It's like mahogany colored, yum. Now what I like to do is fill the bowl with the peppers and beef and then put a little rice off to the side. I don't want a big old bowl of rice, I want a big old bowl of meat. <laughs> and peppers. And then we're gonna put a little of our jasmine rice off to the side so we eat less rice and more of our protein and shishito peppers. Get yourself some chopsticks and you're ready to go.